Welcome back to the next 10 days video series from Winfield United. I'm Jeff Pangle, technical seed agronomist for the Delta and for East Texas. And today I want to talk about the importance of potash in corn production. I'm standing in front of a cornfield today uh, in the central part of the Delta that's representative of a lot of corn that was planted about the first week of April. It is a V5 corn, so it's sitting there just ready for the side dress application. Just as soon as it dries up, I'm sure that's what uh, will take place. And so we know that there's three macronutrients in corn that are very important, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potash. And no doubt the rock star of this group is nitrogen. We use nitrogen in a lot of different ways, a lot of different rates, a lot of different sources, and a lot of different application, application techniques. But what about potash? It's kind of the, the sleeper in this, in this uh, uh, group of macronutrients. We don't talk about it a lot, but basically when we think about potash, we wanna know what it does and how is the best way to use it. Potash and nitrogen are in a one-to-one -one relationship with each other in corn production. So if we're using 270 units of nitrogen in our corn production uh, plan, then we wanna have 270 units of potash equivalent to balance that one-to-one. -one. <clears throat> Basically in corn production, when we think about nitrogen and potash, we think about those being 1.2 units um, of, nu of nutrient per bushel of yield gold. So 1.2 units of potash or nitrogen per bushel of yield gold. Um, I'll put a slide in here that shows the requirements and the kind of an example of what that looks like in the corn plant. But why, I guess the question is, why is the balance of nitrogen and potash so important? Well, we can fertilize all day long, but what we got to do is get that fertility, that nutrition up into the corn plant, and that's where potash comes in. Potash plays a critical role in water absorption, nutrient absorption, and most importantly, in a lot of cases in a corn crop, it has a lot to do with the uh, pre preventing stalk lodging. It helps the stalk health and nutrition to keep us out of a situation where we have lodging. Uh, nothing can impact the harvestability of the corn crop any any more than stalk lodging and potash is a key ingredient to prevent to help prevent that. How can we manage potash? Most of the time we're thinking about potash as a pre-plant nutrient and, and given that that's where most of it's going to go out but we have other resources too. We can tissue test about, about this stage of corn V4, V5 corn right before we get ready to side dress or make a foliar application. And we can influence the uh, potash uh, uptake and availability all the way up through silking on this corn crop. So we do have some room here in the production plan to influence potash. Um, so the key thing today to remember, I guess, is don't forget about the potash. Uh, of course, we think about the nitrogen all the time, as we talked about, it's the rock star. But potash and nitrogen, balancing them one to one is critically important for maximum corn production and just as importantly for uh, efficient harvestability. So thank you for watching the video today. Again, I'm Jeff Pangle, technical seed agronomist for Winfield United in the Delta region in East Texas.